how did James Cameron make his legendary films? I want to talk about his creative process leading up to the movie Terminator that made him leap based on the book The Futurist by Rebecca Keegan. Let's get started. Number one, push yourself into an uncomfortable zone. According to the book The Futurist, the process of writing scripts is a hard part for James Cameron. So he said, it's very hard to get started and stay focused. He tends to bunker himself, working mainly at night and withdrawing from the outside world. Many artists create environments that are cut off from the outside world. For example, my favorite author, Nicholas Sparks, known for his best-selling book and film, The Notebook, said in his interview with Audible, If you want to be a writer, you have to be willing to put up with challenges of being a writer. The uncertainty, the writer's block, the sleepless nights, the loneliness, the ability to work in silence, the ability to give up time in the real world for time in the fantasy world. And I think the most interesting thing is that Cameron used to tell friends he'd like to buy the most uncomfortable chair he could find for writing, so he would finish as fast as possible to get out of it. Number two, take risks. According to the book, The Futurist, James Cameron sold Heard, who was Roger Corman's former assistant and would later become Cameron's wife, the rights to the Terminator for one dollar in return for a blood oath that she would produce the film only if he directed it. So he hasn't made any money of the two Terminator movies that followed his own, nor the accompanying video games, action figures, or theme park ride. But he had a career in exchange for the risks he took, you know. He succeeded in the movie Terminator. I think he put a lot of pressure on himself by taking significant risks and creating a situation where he couldn't back down and that made him successful. Number 3. Visual Persuasion According to the book The Futurist, when he attended the pitch meeting with a producer to finance Terminator, just as he fundraised for his first independent film, he delivered an enthusiastic pitch using detailed sketches he had made of sequences from his screenplay. Moreover, he asked his actor friend to attend the meeting early, decked out as the Terminator. No doubt, the staging burned into the producer's memory. As a result, Cameron financed $6 million for Terminator. And when he looked for an actor, to play the lead role in Terminator. Cameron's drawings of the Terminator and different sequences of the film tucked up at Hurt's house, where the audition took place, changed the actor, who had initially been negative to the audition, into positive, and that actor eventually played the lead role in Terminator. In this way, Cameron persuaded actors and executives by his mixture of animated verbal storytelling and detailed visual aids. Number 4. Sell yourself and create your opportunities. According to the book, The Futurist, Cameron had to wait 9 months until the Terminator shooting. So he never stopped and started circulating his Terminator script as a writing sample and meeting with producers. He got the opportunity to write scripts for Alien 2. Number 5. Create deadlines and create a situation that compels you to do it. As mentioned earlier, Cameron had to write the script for Alien 2 by the time he started to film Terminator. According to the book The Futurist, he was assigned the script for the second Rambo film at the same time. And he was also working on the Terminator Relight for the start of production in a few months. So at this time, even he asked the producer what he should do. And the producer answered, Don't be stupid, take both jobs. So he took both jobs. 
This means that he had to write three scripts for a total page count of 360 in three months. So he continued to write that many pages per hour. Finally, after devoting time to four drafts of Lambo, Cameron had only been able to finish the first two acts of the Alien sequel before it was time to dive into shooting the Terminator. But fortunately, 20th Century Fox loved the first 90 pages of the script and offered to wait until Cameron was available to finish writing. This kind of thing may not happen often. But in this way, deadlines make us push ourselves beyond our limits and allow us to do things we could never accomplish before. Number 6. Do it yourself. According to the book, The Futurist, by the time he got to Avatar, he would be holding the camera, editing the footage, mixing the sound, and performing almost every technical and artistic task on the film himself except acting. On the Terminator, if an actor needed to have a stunt explained to him, he demonstrated Arnold Schwarzenegger, who played the Terminator, recalls. He jumped on this Honda motorcycle I was supposed to be riding and accelerated and spun around, did a 180 to show me what he wanted. Crazy. I'm not the only one who feels that Camelon's style seems to be reflected in the film's narrative and characterization. I believe that his do-it-yourself spirit, which he acquired at Roger Coleman's low-budget film production, makes his work more unique and one of a kind. Thanks for watching. Today, I talked about James Cameron's creative process. If you are interested in his creative process, I recommend you get the book, The Futurist, and read it for further inspiration. Check out the links in the description, including the other books and films I've covered today. And check out another video I made a while back about how James Cameron became a director, if you haven't seen it yet. I hope you guys feel this video is valuable and inspirational. If there is anything you learned from watching this video, or you can apply to your creative process, please leave a comment below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more inspiration and your creativity. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.